Yer, what's good? It's Dutchie Monroe, and I would like you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for whenever I post another video. You will be notified. And ooh, -wee. <laughs> I got me some tea for all you guys. So tell me why. <laughs> Nah, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> nah, honestly, this video is just yet another Adventure Time in NYC video. Now, me and a good friend of mine had went on a little tea time excursion in NYC. And I just wanted to show you guys how it went. So check it out.
Located in Soho, right on Broom Street, right in the busiest part of the city. Mm. Marie Bell opened up in 2002 by its owner and founder, Maribel Lieberman. I hope I said her name right. Oh my gosh. So she started out as an eight-year-old, intrigued by the things of the sugar variety. And she was like well into making sugar candies for the neighborhood kids in her native land, Honduras. Mm -hmm. Shout out to y'all. As a young adult, she just found herself in NYC going to the Parsons School of Design and Fashion and stuff where she was focusing on design and fashion and stuff. And she was still basically showing interest in the arts of cooking during that time by running a business of her own for the last five years, which was a catering company, Maribel's Gourmet Cuisine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From that point on, she just knew chocolates was the passion that was driving her, you know? So from there on, she just opened up a storefront called Lunettes et Chocolate on designer chocolates and glasses. And then after that, she opened up Maribel's in Soho. She also has an additional business named the Cacao Market in Brooklyn, and she also has Japanese versions of her businesses in Kyoto and Tokyo. She also sells one of Oprah's favorite things on Oprah.com, which is her Aztec hot chocolate. Now, I'm not too big on chocolate, but Marie Bell's is a tea shop and a chocolate shop. And on NYC Bucket List, they was like offering a little tea time for two special that basically included the choices of a Bellini, mimosa, glass of champagne, some hot chocolate or iced chocolate, coffee or tea with like many pastries, a chocolate fountain with assorted sandwiches and scones and jams and butters and all types of stuff, right? Now, there is only one set price for either groups of items, and it is indeed prepaid. So before arriving, you get there and only pay for any additional things that you may have ordered. Now, which of course, I ended up bringing home some additional things. I don't even eat chocolate, but the aroma in the place and the way the chocolates just looked so pretty, I mean, I was in love. Like... As I explored the storefront while waiting to be seated, I saw so many amazing things. But what really caught my eye was the rose petals and hibiscus white chocolate bar and then the strawberry and white chocolate bar from both the cacao market. They sell the cacao market chocolates in Marie Bell's tea shop. Amazing. Then there was like an array of small chocolates with all of these amazing designs on them and each and every one of them had a different flavoring of chocolate. <laughs> From what I can remember as I finished them off before I was even seated is that I chose four, okay? Champagne, lavender, rose petal, ma matcha, if I remember correctly, and matcha is green tea. I just found it to just be delightful that in this tea shop, there was just all these chocolate choices from Marie Bell's, Maribel's own businesses. 
genius. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Great marketing, sis. Great marketing. Mm -hmm. So me and my friend Barb's, you know, went on a little tea date. Got some bellinis and some chocolate fondue with some fruits. And a choice of a pastry. And the shop was packed. Mostly due to it only being able to fit no more than like 12 people or less. The shop is indeed small, but it is just a lovely atmosphere, honestly. If you are ever in NYC, please go check out her locations because it's just honestly just somewhere different and nice to be, especially in New York City, the busiest city in the country. It's really a nice, unique find to just see NYC and just a little bit of an escape and a, a, a small, softer paced atmosphere, you know? Like, I hope you guys enjoyed the experience through my story and I hope I run into you guys someday soon. Till the next time. <laughs> Tea time is a chance to just slow down, pull back, and appreciate your surroundings. L L Latita Baldridge. Oh my God, I've been butchering these people's names. Latitia, Latitia, Latitia Baldridge, Latitia Baldridge. <laughs> yes, peace, love, and prosperity, guys. Till the next time. Later.